Hi guys, it's Vasi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm very very happy to see you here and actually at the moment I'm in the south of Italy with Ben and his family. You can admire the whole you know coast of Sorrento and Positano. And actually there aren't like so many tourists. Of course they are but it's not like full. Or oh, you already feel like you're home. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. In today's video, I want to share with you any useful information that you might need if you're traveling in this period. Any documents that you need to fill in, coronavirus tests, accommodation, transport, any extra costs, and how is the general feeling about tourism in the country. Oh, and guys, I know I've been talking about my giveaway for quite a while and I'm still not announcing it, but don't worry. This Sunday, I'm gonna do a live and tell you literally everything about it so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned because trust me you don't want to miss it We actually flew from London Heathrow to Naples and after that we went directly to Sorrento which is uh, part of the Amalfi Coast. So I will take you with me and show you everything that we did but also show you the prices. We actually weren't able to do the check-in online and we had to go there and they will do it for you. And once we arrived they also gave us this uh, forms to fill in where basically you have to fill in the address where you be staying and uh, any other contact information and to be honest with you it's actually very similar to the one that you need to fill in the UK or when you're traveling to Greece. Airports are actually getting way busier than they were in beginning of July but at the same time also restaurants, shops and everything is starting slowly to reopen but they're definitely taking uh, strict measures. The flight went totally normal, no arrested people here, thanks God. Everything was as usual and we have to give the forms that we filled in to the flight attendants right before we landed. After we landed, apart from the fact that we had to wear a mask and people were cautious about the distance there that they're having between each other, I have to say that we didn't get checked for coronavirus and most of the things went pretty much as usual. After we landed, we actually took a shuttle bus that took us directly to Sorrento and it took around 50 minutes, 55, less than one hour and it costed only 10 euros. It was super efficient, so I definitely recommend it. You can also rent a car if you want to use it for the rest of the time. You should be pretty confident in driving because the streets are super small and as you see, it's like always full of people running around. These are the main means of transport, either bus or car, definitely don't recommend the train. Just because we took it after that when we were going back from Sorrento to Naples and it took us like one hour and a half to go 48 kilometers and to be honest with you I was definitely going crazy. We are going to Positano and you were so nice to book everything so oh. can you tell us? Okay so it was pretty easy you can just go online on this website so yeah it was like 20 around 20 pounds 20 euros sorry per person per trip so 40 pounds round trip per person and, and how long does it take with the fast boat and the slow boat which one are we taking fast one takes half an hour the slow one takes less than an hour like 40 minutes 50 minutes something like that depends on the traffic as well you can admire the whole you know coast of Sorrento and Positano while you're getting there okay so we are here and we actually got also our temperature checked before we came in in Sorrento we stayed in a family-owned small cute hotel or oh, you already feel like you're home it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up and this is the terrace we have a pretty nice view oh and <laughs> there's the thing for the mosquitoes but I'm gonna show you we have a super nice view of Sorrento and we can also have like coffee or breakfast here and to be honest with you this was like kind of like cheaper option for Sorrento because for two people it costs like a hundred euros per night and most of the places were way more expensive and we also have breakfast included and now I'm gonna show you the room here is our room these are super cute okay we have another terrace here and 
Honestly, I think the best part is actually the bathroom. Look at that. And there weren't actually any special measures or restrictions inside the hotel. So I just hope it was very well cleaned. And I have to say Sorrento and the hotel itself was definitely less busy than what it usually is. If you're still traveling to Italy, I really suggest you booking at least one month in advance so you have a way better choice. And our general feeling about the tourism here is that it's still busy but most of the tourists are actually locals and they're, whereas usually there are a lot of foreigners, a lot of Europeans or also Americans that are coming in here but yeah unfortunately this year it's not the safest year to travel and actually there aren't like so many tourists of course they are but it's not like full as you can see okay especially now it's like pretty empty and to be honest with you, I wouldn't be coming here if it wasn't also for Ben's family. But it also has its, advant its advantages because it's uh, not as busy as it's usual and prices are, are actually the same both for accommodation, transport or for restaurants, prices haven't increased and we didn't actually see any closed shops or restaurants i would say that pretty much everything was open as the years before but it was just less busy we're going to the restaurant and we had to leave our names document and they also measured our temperature and if you actually decide to come to italy in this period i have to tell you that just be very careful and uh, take all the measures that you need and stay safe and guys make sure to subscribe if you want to see my next vlog from positano where i'm going to give you all the tips and tricks that i have for you and also show you the prices plus it really means the world to me and you just can't imagine how happy i get every time that i see that some of you have subscribed trust me Aww. i appreciate and i'm super happy for every single one of you love you loads bye